South Africa, abortion has been legal for over 20 years. This should allow women and girls to have access to safe services if they choose to terminate a pregnancy. But activists say many in the country are often denied access because of various reasons, including stigmatization and fear. Abortion represents the ultimate autonomy of a woman's body, that even when there is something else in your body, you have the choice what to do with that. And at all turns, every turn that you interact with femininity, there's an attempt to steal that autonomy, whether it's in the media and for how we should look, how we should present, you know, what color our lips should be, how our hair should be, how we should speak, how we should stand. And now this is the final frontier, you know, of what should happen with your body. Because of this, flyers and signs for what is most likely illegal abortion services continue to appear on the streets. They're not going to ask you why you're there. They're not going to ask you how far along you are. They're just going to give you what you want and you get away. And um, then you, you don't feel stigmatized, you don't feel traumatized, but they don't care about your health. They're just in it for the money. And honestly, if the government did more to be more visible, um, to train more people, if access at a safe institution was easier, why would anybody go for a backstreet abortion? The public can visit the Voices and Choices exhibition until the 25th of October, where artists are bringing real stories to life. It's hoped this will make people think about the issue and have frank and open discussions about it. Yanka Tolmay, Johannesburg.